Hello, my name is Jack Anderson. I'm a solution architect here at New Rocket, focused on the areas of GRC, integrated risk management, and security operations. Today, I want to talk about a new feature that's available on the ServiceNow Utah release called Common Controls and how we can leverage this feature to achieve the test once, satisfy many solution to managing controls that many of us strive for. Okay, so what are common controls and how can they help us? So in this example, in ServiceNow, we have four different entities, each of them representing a department. And in the ServiceNow world, entities are anything that we would want to associate risks and controls with. So right here, we have four different departments, four different controls. However, each of these controls is really referring to the same thing, it's physical access. But in order to demonstrate compliance, this control would have to exist four different times once associated to each entity or department. In the new version of ServiceNow, we could have facilities in this case, really is the one who would own and manage this control. But the other departments, technology, HR, and finance, can become reliant entities and would be able to inherit this control and still demonstrate compliance. But in the overall system, there's only one control that, that we have to manage. So what does that look like in the platform? So continuing with that example, I'm in the workspaces view under my facilities entity, and I have my physical access control. I'd like to draw your attention to the function field here, which says that this is currently a standard control. Let's go ahead and open up our control. If we come over here, we're now gonna have the option to convert to common. Let's go ahead and do that. ServiceNow is gonna give us a warning. We'll see now with the function field that this is now converted to a common control. Now that this is a common control, we're also going to have these Reliant Entities tab as well as Reliant Entity Types. So through these tabs, we can actually associate the entities from the control view. However, I'd like to show you if we also go and open up the Technology Entity, we're now going to have the Downstream Inherited Controls tab where we can come and add any control that is listed as a common control. So let's go ahead and select our physical access control. We're now gonna see that technology is, has now inherited the physical access control. You can see right here, it still shows under the entity column that facilities is the one who really owns and manages this and technology is uh, listed as a reliant entity. This will now factor in our compliance score and we'll be able to show compliance with this physical access control. So that is common controls in ServiceNow GRC on the Utah release. If you have any questions, comments, or would like to talk about GRC on ServiceNow in general, please don't ha hesitate to reach out. Thanks for watching.